just thinking here now as I'm doing this. I don't have a whole lot more to do. Once I get this back opened up, well, then I gotta lengthen the pendulum rod and uh, figure out how I'm gonna mount it on the wall so that it's out from the wall just a little bit. That's not rocket science. I might be done tonight. I sure hope so. I wanna get back at the big clock project. And some of the viewers apparently want me to do that as well. So, I'm gonna do my best today. We'll see how it goes. I had a late start. Met up with a guy for coffee. Lost a couple of hours. Well, didn't really lose a couple of hours. I hadn't seen him for a few months, so it was kind of nice. I think that opening that we made here is plenty big enough for getting the batteries in and out and for getting the pendulum rod up on the pendulum stem, even for somebody who's got big clumsy hands like I do. Now in a case like this, where the bottom of the case is beginning to form a circle, well it's a half circle on the bottom, but if it was to continue all the way around, it would be, you know, something like this. So it is my personal preference to have the disc right in the middle of that imaginary circle. I personally think that looks best, not away down here at the bottom. It could be further down if it was squared on the bottom. There again, that's just my preference. But I think probably, well, right about there. So now we've got to figure out how much we have to lengthen this pendulum rod. Okay, we'll keep the disc right about here. We'll pull this out, and this is going to, being as we want this on the back, out of sight. Now the, the reason it's got these little uh, breaks in it is so that you can easily just break it off in the right place if you want to. Okay. So now we got to go from here to here. Now you're going to notice here that I've got scads of leftover pendulum rods from other projects where I didn't use the supplied rod. <laughs> I actually made my own out of wood, but I saved the pieces. And one of them's going to come in handy now. Okay, here's one. And when I turn it over, it's still got the protective plastic on it that has to be peeled off. So I know that this side is going to be nice and clear. It won't have a lot of scratches. So I think I'm going to use this one here. And we'll save these for the next time. Okay. So I'm going to want it to come to about there. And we'll give a, at least an inch overlap here. So I think if I was to break it off right there at that point, Probably be just about right. See what happens here. Oh, I don't want to lose my little piece of plastic yet. Okay. I'll take a file and get rid of those burrs and I don't know if I should try and glue this together or maybe try and find some brass rivets. Glue would be actually better. I know it, it would be really nice if it was one continuous piece right up, you know, but at a distance you won't notice this little joint anyway. Now I was just upstairs editing these last few little scenes here just now and I was noticing what if I was to uh, take this pendulum rod and insert it down in here just far enough to catch and then well I, w I wouldn't even need these maybe yeah maybe I would and then make my joint up here where it's sort of hidden 
behind this piece of wood. I think that would be a real good idea, actually. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't see that, you know, a few minutes ago. Actually, it was about an hour ago. Anyway, that's the way I'm going to go. Fasten this down here, make the joint up here. Now another thing I'm just noticing is that this rod here is more designed to uh, for the for the movement that we just installed here. Okay, whereas these rods they're designed for a movement that has a wider base at the pendulum stem. You can see that it's much different, but the width of this is the same. So I'm thinking that I'll use this rod to go all the way down into the pendulum and if I get it in there that far and then use epoxy glue right here to hold it onto the disc then I can cut it off right here cut this one right here and then splice right here I hope I'm not going to regret this, but I scuffed right here with sandpaper and I scuffed here with sandpaper then I wiped it clean with uh, uh, paper towel and uh, isopropyl alcohol to get any grease off it that may possibly be there and my plan is to try and use CA Thick here now this may or may not work, I don't know I think that's pretty good and it looks straight I don't think there's any gaps underneath give it a shot of curing agent and see what happens here now and being is that CA thick does take a little bit longer to cure than the thin I'm just going to hold it real still here all right wonder if maybe if I was to put a little on the sides like here, just right in there hopefully that'll just sort of wick its way in underneath a little bit it just might help a little bit and a shot of curing agent well let's see what happens if I try to pick it up Well, I'm not pulling real, real hard, but I'm putting quite a bit of stress on it. I think that's going to be okay. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll just scuff this side here. And on this one, I'll scuff this side and then I'm just going to glue them together the same way I did with the pendulum disc so I've sanded this this is the back of the pendulum rod and this is the front of the uh, uh, pendulum uh, stem and uh, the escapement stem and they're going to go like that but you know I'm thinking that I might be better off having it the other way up so that if the glue runs down it doesn't run onto the front here and, and spoil the finish because only this portion here will be hidden the rest will be exposed now I realize that I can guess but that'll just sort of help okay so if it's going to do any running down now it's not going to run onto this good side that I don't want to have CA glue showing. All right, let's give it a whirl and see what happens. Now, 
once again, this being CA thick, I do have a fair amount of time here. Maybe I should have put on my my rubber gloves. All right. Try and get it straight. That looks pretty straight. Get my curing agent going here. Yeah, I'll press that down. And <clears throat> needless to say, I will be cutting out this part here where I'm pressing down. Okay, I've been holding it for about a minute here. I think it sh should be okay. Yeah, I can clean that off very carefully with sandpaper. I wonder what this is here. Oh, it's coming off. That's good. Yeah, got it fairly straight. did was I tried a little bit of uh, debonder here to, to uh, get rid of that little spot and it did but it also dissolved the shellac that they put on this. I hope it's not going to be too visible. I can I can see it right now. I don't know if you can but right there and that is just below where this thing is going to be showing so I hope it's not going to be oh well it's it's going to be okay I guess. Well, let's put it together and see what we did here. Get all the dust off it first. Now, I realized that I had said earlier this morning, probably about five or six hours ago, we'd probably have this thing finished. And I, I really thought we would. But uh, obviously, uh, if I was to try and make the brackets for the back that are going to hold it out from the wall, I'd be rushing it and I'd probably do a real sloppy job just so I'd be finished today. So I'm going to have to leave the rest for tomorrow, but I'm not going to make any guarantees, but I would think tomorrow will be the conclusion. And we got this just about right. Yeah, this should be all right. Well, we'll know tomorrow night because uh, I'll be hanging it up on the wall all being well and we'll try it out. Anyway. Once again, thanks for watching.